we've sort of spent the last eight or nine years in this bear market acquiring projects that typically don't come open. Um, things got pretty tough for a lot of companies and uh, with map staking in Saskatchewan, they brought on an online uh, staking system that you don't have to go out there in airplanes and helicopters and cut down trees. You can do it on, on computer and you, you basically pick an area you want and you stake it on your computer and you pay for it with a credit card. So it's, it's certainty of tenure. Um, it's, it's also a very, very cost efficient way to get tenure. Um, in the old days, we would easily spend $50,000 acquiring a property in Saskatchewan that now we can get for uh, $2,000, similar size. With the, the money that we basically save by not having to spend all this on staking, we can use it on, we can spend it on exploration. So we've been fairly aggressive over the last few years picking up projects. We've actually picked up a couple projects. Uh, Shots Lake and Brownell Lake that, that have known historic deposits on them. Um, they're not 43101 compliant deposits, so we can't really market them uh, 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 too much without um, dressing them up into 43101 standards, which will involve uh, a lot more drilling. Um, it'll involve a third party QP to come in and sort of verify the results, that, that sort of thing. But, you know, we know based on the historical results and the presence of these historical deposits that there's something there. Like that's the biggest question for, for grassroots exploration is are you barking up the right tree? We know that there's mineralization there. Um, a lot of these projects were, were stalled at the end of past cycles. I, th I think Brownell Lake, uh, its big drill program was back in the 50s or 60s. And a lot of these projects just sort of stay in limbo for years. Nobody goes back to them for 20 years or 50 years. And, and eventually they, they, they lapse. And the time that these projects usually lapse is in deep bear cycles like we've just encountered over the last eight or nine years. So we, we are able to get uh, high quality projects at very low prices. Things have changed quite a lot to what was a, a target economic threshold back in the 60s is totally different now. You go after lower grades, you can go at greater depths, you can, you know, the, the, the game plan has changed quite a bit so we, we can get a hold of these projects and we have gotten a hold of these projects and now we start looking at them in totally different economic parameters and, you know, some of these things actually surprise us in, in how robust they look now that, uh, you know, might not have looked so robust in the 60s when, when gold was 30 bucks an ounce or, you know, metal prices were, were totally different. So we've got a few projects like that. The one, two that come to mind are Schatz Lake and Brownell Lake. Um, they are VMS type deposits, volcanogenic massive sulfide deposits. They are the same type of deposits as have been mined in the Flin Fawn district um, over the years. Uh, a lot of these have been found to be very economic and have, uh, you know, have been found to be quite, uh, quite large in size over time with more exploration.